I thought she said she was blind. So I was wrong. Point is, not only did she see me, she recognized me. And the cop she was with? Luckily, he was looking the wrong way. But I think it was the same one that saved her in the alley. Better we play it safe, huh? Postpone the deal tomorrow. And pass up on a million dollars? That's not how it works, Frank. Not only will the buyers not wait, it's bad karma. Then we have to take this bitch out of the equation. Karmically speaking, of course. Tell me about this cop again. Well, we've only seen each other a couple of times so far. So you say this girl likes you, Tim? And you feel the same way? Oh, yeah, I'm crazy about her. But you were thinking of not seeing her anymore. Why is that? Well, you see, she's deaf. Huh. And because you're handicapped, you're afraid to get involved. No, it's not me who's deaf. It's her. Are you sure, Tim? It doesn't sound like she has a hearing problem. Of course she does, Dr. Helen. She's deaf. Sounds like her heart is saying, go for it, and that's exactly what she's doing. While you've let the white noise of your fears steer you away from what really matters in life. Okay, I hear you, Dr. Helen. Thanks. Okay, uh, let's take another, shall we? Romeo, you're on Dr. Helen's love talk. Hello? How does she know who the caller was? You didn't tell her like you did with the others. It's on our computer. She can see. Hi, Dr. Helen. I have a question. Do you believe until death do us part? I guess I'd have to say yes, at least in spirit. No, no, I mean literally. As when one person has to die for the other one to be set free. Did you hear my question, Dr. Bradshaw? I need an emergency trace on a phone call. I'm not sure I know what you mean. I think you do, Doc. I think you know exactly what I mean. Why don't you try to say it another way? Sure, Doc. I'll do better than that. I'll show you. Hurry up. Come on. And Doc, that Lieutenant Calloway you were on the pier with last night? Don't expect him to save you again. This is Dr. Helen's love talk. We'll be back in a minute. I've trusted you. Helen, Helen, I tried to tell you. How could you? How could you? Before we begin, Dr. Bradshaw, I need to ask if you can see me. Yes, it's a little blurry, but yes. You understand in order for this to hold up in court, you'll only be seeing the five men this time, not hearing their voices. I understand. Okay. Let's begin. Okay, Helen, take your time. Do you recognize anyone? Maybe that last man. Number five, step forward and face left. I think I remember his tattoo. Is that a yes or a no? And maybe the second man from the left. Number five, face forward. Number two, step forward, please. I, I don't know. It, it was so dark. It, it happened so fast. Take as long as you like. must have been mistaken. Helen, don't be scared. Don't let them intimidate you. No, Corey. No, I, I was wrong. It's definitely not them. If you don't do this, they're gonna walk. I'm sorry. You heard her. It's over. Board cleared you. 
Not exactly the good news I was hoping for. Didn't happen, did it? No. I think she got scared. Either that or she genuinely couldn't identify him. She recognized one of them at the beach. If she could see, she caved. Maybe you should talk to her. She won't return my calls. Like I won't return Will's? Can I let you in on a little secret about women? Sometimes when we do that, we're just trying to see how much effort a man is willing to make. Anything else, Dr. Corey? Yeah. Maybe uh, sometime when we have some free time. I'd really like to have that talk about our night together. Okay, Eel is good to go for tonight. Just think, this time tomorrow, we'll be flying first class halfway to Singapore. Great, so where's the meeting place? Think, Frank. Use that unenlightened brain of yours for once. If the cops are trying to bust us still, where's the last place on Earth they'd expect us to go? <laughs> Thank you, Jennifer, for that very interesting question. Looks like we've run out of time again for tonight, so until tomorrow, this is Dr. Helen Bradshaw reminding you that the first step towards solving a love problem is to simply talk about it. Good night. It's Terry again. I'm not here. He says to tell you that the first step towards solving a love problem is to simply talk about it. Tell him I left. Helen, you sure? I know he hurt you, but he's a good man. I'm sure. Yeah.